We've just arrived on David Halls' farm in southeast Lincolnshire. We're about three miles away from the wash. Um, and what's the disease pressure been like this season? Uh, very minimal for us, David. This year we um, we've missed uh, missed most of uh, the wet weather um, earlier on. Uh, the cold uh, period we had, we didn't get a lot of snow, but we did have it fairly cold. Um, kept disease pressure low as well. So, Jonathan, what are we seeing disease-wise? Well, we only need some septoria here, but at quite low levels compared to what we would normally see this time of year yeah. at this site. Now, the site is behind where it would normally be. Usually it's about three weeks behind, the farmer reckons, compared to where it would normally be. It'll catch up and it'll, it'll grow very quickly now. A little bit of ice spot. This site, we've often found ice spot in this area previously. The heavy soils, rich, fertile ground, creates a nice environment for that pathogen. And, uh, and there is a little bit out there as well, so especially hey. on the Sundance, that's the most susceptible. Uh, but I wouldn't bet it's not in a few of the others as well. Right, well, although the crops look a little bit backward, they look fairly well, and what kind of disease levels are you seeing? Well, uh, it's really interesting, uh, these crops, you know, they've had that bit of early nitrogen, which not many people have got on, but really looking for fresh septoria, it's really quite difficult to see, but what we've got is a lot of dead leaf with pustules on there, all ready to explode when the this sort of showery weather which we've just experienced is ideal for the spread but we're here in what I would call yellow rust central mm. which is a big concern and really out of caution would think that a T-naught should have an azole. Yeah, to, co to cover that rust. Yes.